Hey there, Bixby developers. This is Jonathan Pan. This video is a Hello World tutorial for Bixby Studio, 2020 edition. Bixby Studio has changed a lot in the last eight months. As such, I wanted to make sure that this tutorial is up to date with all the changes that have happened. Before we get started, let's demo what we're going to be building. Say, hello world. Hello world. Say, help me, I'm trapped. Help me. I'm trapped. As you can see, this is a simple capsule that just takes what you said and repeats it back to you. In order to get started building for Bixby, go to bixbydevelopers.com and install the proper IDE for your platform. Now you also need a Samsung account. You can do that by clicking on this button in the top right and click sign up here or continue with Google. So I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through the sign up process, but you should. Next, open up Bixby Studio and you'll see a screen like this. Just click Login and just log in with the Samsung account that you created. Click Sign In and now this will automatically redirect you to Bixby Studio. So we're going to be creating a capsule from scratch. Just click Create New Capsule and name it Playground.Hello underscore World. This Playground prefix allows you to code in Bixby Studio without creating and registering a namespace. So now just click Create and it will generate a lot of files for you to get started with. The first thing to understand in Bixby is modeling. If you're familiar with other programming languages, concepts are similar to variables and actions are similar to functions or methods. The first model we'll want to create is the concept what user said. Back in Bixby Studio, I'm just gonna go ahead and close the readme. Just right click this and select new model. We're going to name this the what user said model. And right here, under this drop down, click text. Now click create. And we can give it a description if we want. I'll put what the user said for Bixby to repeat. And Bixby Studio by default has autosave turned on. So now this file will be saved. Next, we'll want to create the say this model. Say this will be what Bixby ends up saying to the user. To do this, we'll do the same thing. Right click this, new model. And we'll name this, say this with the template of text. Click create and add a description. What Bixby ends up saying to the user. And now we'll want to create our first action. This action will be called the say something action and it will be taking what user said as an input. So right click this and create new model. We're gonna name it say something. By default, it will have action selected. Just click create. Let's go ahead and get rid of this warning. Just add this line of code, type, search, and there you go. We need to specify the inputs that this action takes. We're going to be using the what user said model. I like to make this camel case and you'll see why later. But the type here is referencing the model that ends up becoming the input. So in this case, the type will be the what user said model that we created earlier. And we're going to want to make this required. And finally, the output will be the say this model that we created earlier. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create the say something.js. Right click this and select new action JavaScript. And let's just name this the same thing as we named the action, say something.js. Now this will be the logic that will be run when the action say something is triggered. We need to make sure that the input parameters here are the same as what we defined in the action. In the action, we had to find the input what user said to be the input. So right here, just put in what user said. And we're just gonna return what user said plus an exclamation mark. This way, we'll know that the JavaScript function is indeed doing something. Now, of course, you could do pretty much whatever you need to, like an API call or something, and then, you know, parse it, and then finally return what you want it to do. But in this example, we're gonna keep it simple by just adding an exclamation mark. So we've created our action, which utilizes the two concepts that we made. But how does Bixby know which action will use the JavaScript logic? To link the JavaScript to the action, 
We do that through the endpoints file. In the resources folder, you'll notice a file called the endpoints.bxb. You can also type command P and then endpoints, and there it is. So let's just uncomment this. And right here, this is referring to the model that we created. In this case, say something. The accepted inputs need to match the inputs that we declared right here. So that's going to be what user said. Let's just paste that there. And finally, this is referring to the JavaScript file that we created, say something.js. So now we've set up our action, but how do we invoke that action? In Bixby, we do that with the natural language training. NL training basically tells Bixby what to do based on what the user said. So let's train Bixby to understand, say, hello world. To get to the training, right here at the bottom, click on training. And now click on the target. And right here we have a button, the add button. Click on that. So here we'll see that we want to set the goal to be the action say something. So now when Bixby hears say hello world, it will invoke the action say something. So we have a goal field here. Just type in say something and set that to be the goal. And in here, this is where we type the natural language, which will be say hello world. But Bixby doesn't know which part of that utterance is going to be what user said. In order to do that, highlight this and then click value. And in here in the node, select what user said and then click save. And this will now add it as an annotation. Now we can click the save button here and it will save the training. Click compile and you'll see that it says that it was learned. So because of our earlier endpoints file, when this action ends up being invoked, say something.js will be run, and all it does is it adds an exclamation mark to output the say this concept. So now let's test this. In order to test it, click on the simulator icon right here, or do command seven. And now your simulator here will pop up. You may be greeted with this window here, just click on this and then it'll automatically select a target, click confirm. So in here, type say, hello world. Here's what I found. And now you'll be presented with this, here's what I found. But you do see that it did find hello world and add an exclamation mark. But we want Bixby to say, hello world. In order to do that, we need to set a dialog for Bixby. To make a dialog, right click this and select new dialog. There it is. And I like to name the dialogues to match the concepts that we're trying to do. So name this the say this.dialog.bxb, click create. And this match here is going to need to match one of the models that you've created. And when Bixby outputs a say this model, then this dialog will happen. This here is how we're going to refer to it later on, which is just right here in the next line. And this is some wacky Bixby syntax, but um, just type this in and it'll work. What this here means is that it's taking the value from the say this model and then outputting it in the template right here, the dialog template. Now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Click reset. Hello world. You'll notice that now it's saying hello world instead of just saying here's what I found. But also notably is that in here, in the result view, it's still showing hello world. We want to show something else. In order to do that, we need to use a result view. To do that, right click new view. And let's also name this the say this dot view. And if it, if it didn't auto generate the code, just type result view match say this and in parentheses this. And we're going to want render and you can hit control space to show a bunch of options. And we want layout section content. So now we can add an image once we reach uh, this block right here. And the image needs a URL. So you can use an online image or you can use a local image. So I have a GIF right here that I'm just going to drag and drop it into the assets images folder. So for this one, the root directory is referencing the assets folder. Since we're starting in the assets folder, we'll want to do the images folder and then world.gif. 
And let's also change the aspect ratio to 1, 1. Now let's go ahead and run that again. Reset. Hello world. And there we go. Now let's do a little bit of cleanup. You'll notice here in the models folder, these are actually in this directory. We should move them to the appropriate folders. Let's move the say something action into the actions folder and then these two text concepts into the concepts folder. In the resources folder, we should move our view file into the views folder. And then let's create a new folder for the dialogues. And we can move the say this.dialog into our new dialogues folder. And finally, let's go ahead and change this right here so it doesn't show the Bixby logo with example name. You can do that in the capsule info file, which is located in resources ENUS folder. Now let's change the display name. I'm going to change it to hello world. And I'm going to add an icon that I have into the icons folder, images slash icons. Right here under icon asset, let's change Bixby launcher to whatever your icon is. And now, if we rerun this, hello world, you'll see that it changed these two as well. So one last thing that we should address before we wrap this up is what happens if we do something like say, help me, I'm trapped. Help me. You'll notice that it only took help me and it only flagged help me as the what user said. This is because of our previous training, it's expecting up to two words after the word say. So let's add a training that will fix that. The goal will be say something. And we can do say foobar, 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 foobar. Just highlight this, add a value to be what user said. Save that. And now click save up here. Now click compile. And go back to the simulator and try it again. Help me, I'm trapped. Congratulations, you've successfully built your very first capsule and hopefully you understand how the files all correlate with each other. Here are some additional useful links, which will also be in the description below. Now, if you wanna learn more about Bixby and you like these code along tutorials, I highly recommend this playlist that we have. In particular, the result view tutorial and the input view tutorials are a great place to start after this one. Thank you for watching. My name is Jonathan Pan and yeah, that's it.